Chow Factory is recently releasing under their streamline the Species film. Species 2 was on a solo release, as you can see right here. Species 3 and Species 4, The Awakening, I believe it's called, are on a double feature release, which I do have, but I've not watched those yet. But I did watch this one last night, which if you are a fan of horror for some time like I am, I'm sure in the 90s you remember seeing Species and its sequel, uh, Species 2, which we have right here. Sitting on your shelves of your VHS rental store. Now, I always was a fan of the first movie because, well, let's be frank, there's a lot of nudity in that movie, and there was a lot of nudity in this one. And when you're, I think, around the age of 15, I was at the time when this one came out, you're going to rent these things just for the nudity, which now is still a bonus, even though I can watch these with an open mind more towards the plot as well of just the nice pair of knockers that this leading lady in this film does possess. Now, of course, let me look up the name because I'm bad at the names. This does star Natasha Hesenstridge, something of that nature. Uh, she was in the first one and she's back in this one. Also has Michael Madison's back and the chick that played the doctor as well is also back. So we kind of get most of the original uh, cast from the original film. Now, as you know, in the first film, the lady I read there, the one that's often naked, uh, Natasha Hesenstridge, Maybe I'll get that right one of these times. Played a alien that came to mate to Earth, and she was a bad lady, so to speak, or a bad alien. And this time around, she's in here because they have took the DNA from that alien and human DNA and mixed it together to create her and basically do experiments on her and have her up their sleeve in case there ever is an outside invasion again, which happens quickly in the movie, as we see right from the opening scene, a trio of astronauts are touching down on Mars, Something gets in there, something infects some of them, and uh, next thing you know, we have an alien on Earth trying to mate with as many people as they can, which, you know, instantly causes birth. And so there's a whole swarm of these things that starts to come out. The movie's really, really cheesy. It, it's a good movie, it's a cheesy movie, it's a corny movie, but it's still fun. There's a lot of nudity. There's a lot of effects. Now, it does have some of that awful CGI, which I don't like CGI anyway. But I do think that the CGI from around 98 when this came out was probably the worst. That being said, there's still a lot of good blood and gore to be had here. A lot of nudity. And plus Michael Madison. Who does not like seeing Michael Madison? Especially in the 90s. So that it's, it's a movie with merit. It's not anything you're probably going to award five stars to. But it's not something that you're going to watch and hate either, I don't think. Now, as far as the transfer on this goes, I will say that it looks kind of soft more times than not. I don't know if they had the great, you know, the greatest material in the world to use with this. So it's not the best looking Blu-ray you're going to see. The colors are pretty nice, but it is kind of soft with a lot of details. And sometimes things are kind of darker looking, I think, especially in darker scenes. And the details get lost, which uh, is kind of a bummer because sometimes when you see like the, the aliens, especially that weird uh, finale with the aliens and the mating and all that that happens. And, what, what not. There's really cool effects there, and some of it gets lost with the lack of detail, I think. But still, fun movie. I had a lot of fun with it. i uh, not watched the other two yet, but I want to. I do want to point out, though, that, that you'll see here with the hole there, because this was a review copy, which drives me crazy with my OCD, actually, but uh, they commissioned some new artwork. That Osborne character that does quite a few of their covers has actually done a cover for this, but they put it on the reverse side. I don't, I don't know why. And the actual art, which, which is probably the art I use for the, for the picture for this video, so I ain't going to review this all the way. You get the uh, regular art there, the uh, original art, on the main side. But, of course, I flip it. Uh, and I don't know why they did that. that. That's odd that they would go out of their way to get new artwork and then put it on the reverse side. But I'm thinking... And I don't know. Now, this isn't a fact. This is just me just throwing ideas out there. I know they've released a lot of MGM titles. This is an MGM title. Uh, maybe they at one time were thinking of releasing the original, which has a pretty good release from MGM and a pretty cool cover on the little card release. Uh, maybe they at one time was planning on doing a collector's edition of that and this, and then they kind of just decided against it. Because with the amount of extras on this and then that art, it really makes you think that this was meant to be a collector's edition, but then they kind of pulled the plug on the last minute. The extras you get here is uh, new from Seal to Eve, an interview with actress Natasha Hesenstridge. Something like that. New creature creations, interviews with creator and special makeup effects creator Steve Johnson and more. New alien evolutions, an interview with screenwriter Chris Brocato. 
new special effects outtakes, and behind-the-scenes footage, audio commentary with director Peter Medic, scenes from the film feature, featuring uncut footage not shown in theaters, theatrical trailers, still galleries, uh, including behind-the-scenes photos, and production sketches. So it's really a loaded release, and, and I really love that art. And uh, I don't know, I don't love the film, but I like the film enough to say that you probably would like it if you like the cheesy sci-fi alien stuff with a lot of boobs. So, that was Species 2. And I gotta say, uh, I'm not expecting a whole bunch going into Species 3 and Species 4, which I believe were actually made for TV uh, not very, very long ago. But, you know, you, if you had to pick one, I would, I would probably pick this one. And I myself actually need to get the first one because I only own the old school VHS of the, of the first one. So, this is Species 2. And this is pretty entertaining, so uh, transfer is a little lacking, but everything else is pretty top-notch. So if this interests you, I would think it would be worth your time.